There is a fruit sold in most shops called the orange. And it's called that because of its lovely orange colour. Or maybe perhaps the colour is called after the fruit known as the orange. It's hard to say. But thankfully it is a delicious fruit. It's got citric acid in it which is very good. And there are people who have associated themselves with the orange. Uh, possibly as much the fruit as the colour. And possibly as much the colour as the fruit. Because, you see, an orange has a kind of a, a tangy, tingy kind of a taste to it. And these people would have a kind of tangy, tingy kind of appearance to them. The, sometimes you might get an old orange that's a bit bitter. And they, there's some people associated with the orange who are bitter in their essence. Now we'll take, for example, the noticeably named Orange Men of, Nor of Northern Ireland. Uh, they are kind of tingy and tangy and not exactly to the best taste at times. For instance, their main occupation is to uh, occupy our minds with the colour orange um, and characters associated with the orange. Now, I'm not surprised that uh, they walk around with orange sashes. In fact, I would be even less surprised if they dressed up as oranges on uh, July the 12th and walked around the streets of Northern Ireland with oranges all around them. After all, that is the, the, the name of themselves, uh, the Orange Men. Now that's come to my attention maybe and uh, come to my thoughts that in days to come we might see uh, a, a further extension of this orangeness in that it would uh, possibly become more of a yellow colour and maybe we'd have banana men and they would dress themselves up in banana outfits and walk around the streets of Northern Ireland. Perhaps maybe by that stage we might have United Ireland and indeed we'd have banana men and orange men and sure, let's throw something else into the mix. Why not some strawberry men as well? And women of course, let's not be sexist about it. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of women up there who like the orange as well. But um, for all intents and purposes, uh, as they say, um, you know, orange women and orange men, you know, they'd have orange children, like, you know, it's, it works its way down the line. I mean, there was orange grandparents and grannies and orange uncles and aunts. Doesn't mean that everybody born to an orange man and an orange woman is going to be an orange child. It could be a green child, for all that. I mean, the distance to go from orange to green isn't all that big of a distance. I mean, maybe you have to cross over yellow along the way. But still, you know, green. And, I mean, there's plenty of green around. I mean, there's green fields, green trees, you know, all that stuff. And a lot of vegetables are known as green. After all, we have a green economy. Uh, or so we're told, you know, green. Uh, save the environment, all that kind of thing. So we have, effectively in Ireland, we have both orange men and uh, green men and orange women and green women and uh, orange children and green children. I mean, as I said, you know, further down the road, banana people. I mean, after all, this could be a banana republic. I mean, there's loads of them around. Not kind of mushroom things. No, just peer out of no place. Or you need to some kind of guy like Che Guevara, you know, waving a big stick and everybody falls. You know, hey, come with me, you know, I'll show you the way to, uh, I don't know, redemption, perdition, uh, lunacy. Uh, neither one is very far from the other, anyway. I mean, what is the distance between genius and madness? That distance is really measured in the success of the person who achieves something from maybe madness into genius. I mean, the mind is a complex organism. And, uh, you know, we can never be too careful when it comes to, to matters of the mind. And when you think, uh, you start thinking about things and snowballs and you start off at one subject and you land yourself way off miles away on another subject. Uh, for example, um, what was it we started off with? Oh yeah, the orange and the orange men. Well, I can't wait for July the 13th, the march of the banana men. And banana women. Are you with me, people? Banana. Banana. Banana.